Hi, this time I wanted to show you the Demotics platform. We use this as the basis of all our home control systems in the flat, controlling lights, electrical equipment, audio, temperature, climate control, security, the works. It's such a useful platform and what's more it's totally free and you can install it on the Raspberry Pi which is a tiny credit card sized computer that's really cheap and very inexpensive to run so you can keep it running all day. The only other piece of equipment that I use is something called an RFX TRX and I'll go into what that is and what it's capable of in this video. So here's a Raspberry Pi. It is a small computer even though it doesn't really look like one. Um, it has an Ethernet port connection and four USB connections and also an HDMI output and some audio output for, um, for display and audio out. And it's powered by a USB cable which is there at the top left of the board. Now this can be run constantly because it uses quite a, um, a little amount of electricity and therefore it's really useful for home automation projects. I thought I'd show you my Raspberry Pi setup, rather embarrassingly, it is in a mix and match of a model of cables which are stored in a tiny little uh, cupboard which wasn't used for anything else but it's quite useful to hide away all my home control um, hubs and I have got quite a few of them. You can actually see the old Philips Hue hub at the bottom right of the screen. But anyway, so as you can see, what I've got in there connected into the Raspberry Pi is power, that white cable coming out of the bottom. I've got Ethernet, which is connected directly to the uh, router. However, you can um, connect the Raspberry Pi via wireless, so you don't really need that Ethernet connection if you don't want to. And also I've got one USB coming out of, the, of there, the black thing coming out to the right, and that goes into the transceiver. So here is the transceiver. This is called an RFXCOM, RFX TRX433, the 433 standing for 433 megahertz. In other words, the radio frequency that this transceiver works on. And you'll find that the majority of radio, at least, um, home control equipment uses 433 megahertz and therefore can be detected by this little device. This really is the instrumental part. Demotics is a fantastic platform for controlling all sorts of devices but you do need this if you've got any radio control devices and I would say that the majority of our plug-in devices use radio waves rather than for example there are now um, Wi-Fi controlled plugs etc. They can be quite expensive and really there's no real need for them if you have one of these devices. You can ju just do exactly everything that you can do with the Wi-Fi plugs. The only thing that I would say is that for 433 MHz uh, devices there's usually no feedback. So in other words the device will switch off and on um, by by command from this device however you don't really know what the status of it is unless you've got a home control system like Demotics that keeps track of whether it's switched the device on or off. Here's the Demotics page on how you can install Demotics on a Raspberry Pi and it is it couldn't be simpler now. It was simple before, but they've, I, I can't believe it, but they've actually made it even more simple. Um, these boffins at Demotics do a really good job. As you can see, this is a forum, uh, this is a wiki page here, but there are forums for Demotics, um, a really good forum that you can get involved with, um, ask loads of questions, and there are, there are plentiful experts who know far more about Demotics than I do who can answer your questions. But on this page, you'll see that what you have to do is you would set up your Raspberry Pi in the usual way, and that comes in the Ras that comes from the Raspberry Pi documentation. You can just Google how to set up a Raspberry Pi. It's dead simple. Um, there's nothing too complicated there. Uh, if you buy a Raspberry Pi, for example, the Raspberry Pi 3 with noobs, it's called, it's already installed. The the base operating system's already there in this SD card. You just plug the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. Plug in, for example, a monitor if you want to in the keyboard and mouse, switch it on and you'll see it starts up straight away. It's brilliant. To install Demotic, on top of that, you type in one line. Yes, one line. You just type this in. 
you type it in and then m millions and millions of text things will appear all one after the other um, like it does on um, sci-fi programs when somebody's programming really fast black screen loads of white text flying up and, and down and then suddenly it's uh, it's done and it's just saved and what happens from that point on is that every time the pie is switched on demotic starts so you don't need to worry about restarting your pie and restarting demotics that's all taken care of for you you then plug in the rfxcom rfx trx433 and go to the hardware tab on demotics and select the that you're adding um, this transceiver and as soon as you've added it it will start to receive information which means that it is an automatic process. So Demotics is constantly listening for devices, whether you've registered them or not, and it adds them to the devices page in a list of unused devices. So for example, if you happen to have a, a, a wireless thermometer um, and hygrometer that can, that can tell you what the temperature and humidity is in a room, you, you may not have realized, but that's probably compatible with this system. And what you'll see is that the data will soon start streaming in as far as, as an unknown device. All you then have to do is activate that device, give it a name, for example, living room temperature, and then you can start using it within your Demotics set setup. You can also set other devices up in exactly the same way. All you need to do is, for example, for something that sends out information, like a PIR de detector, all you need to do is activate the PIR and then go back to Demotics and you'll see that an unidentified PIR is there ready for you to name and to set up. And if it's for a device which uses a controller, for example, if it is a smart plug or if it's a plug that uses wireless technology, then what you'll need to do is to pair it with a remote and then send that remote command and Demotics will find that remote command and um, will ask you what it is. Then you can just tell it that it is a plug socket and, that, and, and where the plug socket is and what you want, to, want it to be called. <laughs> The first method you can use is called Blocky. Now this may be familiar to some people because it is an interface that's used for people who are learning how to program. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not powerful or flexible, it really is. Um, and it's such a visual display of, of how um, Demotics will work, it's really useful for people who are starting off. In this example, um, what I want to do is I want to switch on the rear balcony lights for 15 minutes when Chester opens his uh, balcony door, um, which means that obviously there'll be light out there um, in enough time, more than enough time for him to set what he wants to, to do up there. And then um, if he wants to keep the lights on, he can then use his, um, his phone or whatever to lock the lights on. So the only thing that I need to add in here is I need to add in that I want it to be on, I want the rear li lights to be on, and I want them to be on for 15 minutes. So I just literally drag and drop everything. So I'm going to drag this into there, and I'm going to drag this into here, and change it to 15. And there you have it. The event, I'm going to save now and overwrite it. And that means everything saved, that activity is now running, and it means every time the balcony door is open, the rear balcony lights will go on for 15 minutes. It's that simple. Okay, the method that I use is uh, using something called Lua scripts. Now, Lua is a programming language, and there's plenty of documentation online on how to program with Lua. But the thing to remember is that there are specific commands that you can enter in for your Demotic setup. As you can see here, I've got a few scripts that are running at all the time, and these the ones that begin with script device mean that these will run when a device has changed state, so when something goes on or something goes off, and you specify within the script which devices you're talking about. And then you've got some down here which begin with time. Now these ones run every minute, and these ones are really useful to check the status of things. So something might not have changed per se, but you want to check um, other devices to make sure that um, to make sure that things are happening. So in in here you can say, well if um, if the my uh, heated bed, for example, has been on for 20 minutes, um, then switch it off. So even though you don't, uh, even though you need to physically switch the heated bed on, you don't need to worry about switching it off. You can just literally put a time in there. So I'm going to use the same example as I've used with Chester's uh, balcony door and show you how I've achieved the same aim in here. 
First of all, I should tell you that I use something called WinSCP, which is what you can see right now. And this is such a useful program. It um, it may basically enables you to dial in to your Domotics, to, to your Raspberry Pi, and then you can explore all the folders just like you would in Windows. Um, and you don't actually physically need to be at your Pi. You just dial into it and you can, you can use it from there. There's also a text editor that's built in so you can edit files on the fly and then save them straight back to your Raspberry Pi where Domotics is running very useful and you don't even need to stop Demotics from running you can just edit these as you will save them and as soon as they've saved Demotics will start using them immediately so let's have a look at Chester's um, Chester's balcony uh, one if I can find it now so here we go um, rear balcony so in here um, I've got uh, a script which says if the device changed, door of Chester balcony is open, and I've actually put something else in here. And other devices, dusk is on. So basically, when it's when the light is needed, in other words, if if the door was open during the day, the lights wouldn't come on. So that has to be a yes. And other devices, rear balcony lights is off. So in other words, um, if the lights were already on and the door is opened, well, there's no point switching the Mac on. Um, so we we I'm just double checking there. And also I've set another one, um, which is a dummy switch called lock rear balcony lights, which in other words means if we're outside on the balcony and we want the lights to stay on, we can use a device called lock rear balcony lights and we can switch that on. That's more um, to do with the timer sa side of this of this Lua script and I'll go through that in a second. But then what happens is we send a command array to say rear balcony lights on for 15, which means on for 15 minutes. Demotics needs in Lua to begin with command array equals an empty um, an em empty string and then at the end to return the command array. So everything that happens within this script is, is um, c computed, calculated, and then anything that happens that it needs to do in the command array, it returns it right at the end. So that if multiple switches need to be switched on or off, then when you send the return command array, they will happen straight there and then, one after the other. They'll be queued up, so there, w there won't be any sort of um, overlay. One switch will switch on, then the next, then the next, as soon as, as, soon as the previous one uh, message has been sent. Well, it looks like this was another, yet another whistle-stop tour through a home control system. Don't worry, plenty more videos will be coming out. I'll be making loads more and going into great detail into how you can integrate all these devices into one home control setup. The best thing about this is you can start off as small as you like, and build it up and the more that you add the more that you'll learn and the more that you'll, you'll realize that other devices can connect together and you can make the most out of what you already have in your setup anyway i hope you enjoyed that if you want to subscribe please do so leave any comments below and and see you next time